Thank you. Thank you. Beth. Now to this. Remember how we warned that crime wouldn't stay isolated solely in the inner city? Let's move just three hours north of Albany to Atlanta, where those who live and work in Buckhead community are weighing drastic measures to come back the crime surge in their neighborhood. They say breaking away from the city of Atlanta entirely may be the only way to ensure their safety if leaders don't step up. Watch. Our families and businesses feel that we've been exploited for way too long. You know, we send a lot of our hard-earned taxpayer dollars down to City Hall. We never know where that money is going. And then some things started to creep up that have become very dangerous for our health and safety and indeed our lives. What is it like on a day-to-day -day basis? We've got the murder, shootings, carjackings, home invasions. They tried to steal our car out of, out of our garage. My sister-in-law had her house invaded with my niece and nephew uh, just had left, thank God. Um, and people are saying enough is enough, right? Crime is through the roof. Uh, the way they have treated the police in Atlanta, they've quit in major numbers, 400 cops have quit. So how did they impact you guys as a result of that? Our cops left, what does Buckhead look like? Well, we had a murder rate of 140% here during that time period. Our shootings are up uh, approximately 160%. Our big question here is where has all of our money been going all these years? Our budgets show that when we are in control of the money we normally send to Atlanta, we can have three times as many police officers than we have right now, and also a $100 million surplus. So when I explain that to people, people say, wow, so where is all that money going that we're sending to City Hall? And we just don't know the answers. City governments that have violated their oath of office, their first mission is to protect and keep people safe. If you're not keeping families and mothers and granddaughters and businesses and, um, people that you love safe. You don't want to live in a community like that. Why even get involved in this dispute that's going on between the kid and Atlanta? Well, being the CEO and founder of a jewelry company, we are based internationally, but a lot of my clientele is based right here in Buckhead. So I've had to rework how I, I do my business. I've had to put a little bit more thought into where I meet my clients. Um, even with social media, I you know, reworked my business model to be able to promote things online. And I don't want people to know really where I am, you know, what time I'm gonna be there. I, I frequently don't show things in real time. Um, and I would never wanna put any of my clients in any compromising positions. So it's just been, it's been interesting to see that and watching the brick and mortar companies um, here that have either moved out of Buckhead or um, even looking at the companies that are second guessing coming to Atlanta and Buckhead. Why when this was brought to the table of the crime being a major issue that's affecting all people, did they make the Buckhead secession from Atlanta about race and say, these are just racist people? You know, I feel like people in general are very lazy when it comes to a lot of things and I think that that was more of an easy way out so that they don't have to explain themselves. Mm -hmm. um, I operate on logic and the facts and I haven't seen any reason why Buckhead shouldn't necessarily separate and try to sustain what we have here um, long term. but they don't want to educate on any other reason and i feel like making it about race has just been the easiest thing to do do you think there's any fear though with the criminals in the sense of the criminals fear the police or do they fear the public or the consequences or anything like that i don't think so the repercussions are very relaxed i feel like we need a system in place that will deter any criminal from even thinking that committing crime in buckhead would be a stop. You don't think that currently exists right now? There's no deterrence mechanism? I don't. I really don't. I don't think that it's a priority right now. I feel like there needs to be a bigger sense of urgency, especially with the amount of change that our entire nation is seeing. I had a robber come into my house midday on a Friday, 2.30, working upstairs in my office when I heard glass shatter and I had no 
idea what it was. I thought one of my chips maybe dropped a vase or a glass, went out of my office door and see a, a random stranger, a man in my house. You kept calling 911 over Correct. and over Correct. to notify them what's going on. Correct. And, and I, just it, that I got no live operator. I got a recording saying, Hi, due to high cop call volume, we can't have anybody answer the phone at the moment, whatever the recording was. So did you ever get an answer? I did. On my fourth attempt at 2.37 p.m., I finally got a live operator, told them the situation. Um, I did find out later on that they dispatched to Atlanta Police Department at 3.53 p.m. Mind you, I called them at 2.37 p.m., dispatched ABT, APD at 3.53, and they came to my house at 4.12. If I can't get a police officer to come to my home when a perpetrator is in my home, what is more urgent than that? That's basically what it comes down to is the basic needs of what a human being needs to feel safe and secure for their family. You guys don't want any special treatment. Y'all just want security. I just want someone to pick up the phone when I call 911. <laughs> what a sound bite.